call me a god. Welcome to Gamma Bro Hulk Reviews. My name is DJ. Now for your gaming dose of the J Giant. Today's featured Hulk item is this beautiful one-tenth scale Incredible Hulk statue from a company called Iron Studios. Now this specific company is out of Brazil. They primarily do one-tenth scale statues. So that's one-tenth the size of an actual life-size person. Uh, but they do tend to do uh, larger scales now, so they have done a few one-fourth scale statues. I'm a big fan of this company. I think in the one-tenth scale statue game, they're the best. I think uh, no other company really competes with them. I think in their, they're in their own category, and rightfully so, I think uh, their statues are amazing. So this specific statue is from Age of Ultron. There is a compatible Hulkbuster piece that you can put with them. I might get down the road to pair with this Hulk. I'll start with the base. So really good texture work all throughout. I love how the base is elevated and it shows him like ready to pounce and smash. The colors on the base and the textures are very, very nice. I love the browns and the oranges mixed in with the grays. I love how they threw in a nice tire there. I think it's a very, very nice base. And what's nice about 110 scale statues is just the size. I mean, it's a, it's a decent size and you can buy a lot of them and you can pair them together. So you can buy a whole Age of Ultron set and put all the Avengers together. Now, as for Hulk, they put a little bit of the dust and debris from the clay and the brown mud and they put it all throughout Hulk's feet. And you can like, visibly see that a lot here on this foot. I love the texture work on the pants. I think I think Avengers and Age of Ultron did a you know a decent job with you know um, making a modern version of Hulk pants that doesn't rip. I do like the texture work. I do like what it looks like. I do like how they have a little bit of the debris all throughout the pants. I think it's nice. Now uh, Hulk's uh, skin color and tone is more of a light green with a little bit of yellow mixed in there. They do have a lot of speckle shading, which I love. A lot of brown hues. I love when they make the elbows and some of the joints like a darker color. It makes sense. As for the face, I think it's extremely well done. Very accurate. I like the rib muscles and the lats and traps. I love the skin texturing. I think they did an amazing job on that. And the pose itself is just awesome. Like I love the head on pose. I really like this pose right here. And I really like this pose right here. So on three different angles in my collection room where I'm sitting, I can get pretty good views on, on Hulk in the pose. It's very, very dynamic. This is definitely a more dynamic pose than a lot of Hulk statues. I like how he's off balance and positioned more to the right. His, his momentum is going to be towards that direction, swinging his punch. Just makes a lot of sense. But sculpt, high nines, paints, high nines. Um, price, uh, he's about $210 plus shipping. That's his retail price. You might be able to get a little bit cheaper if you look. But that's about what he goes for. Um, if you check, you know, eBay and stuff, they're, they try to get him for like 275 300 but if you, you can probably find him for retail still. He sold out on Iron Studios and Sideshow Collectibles, but you can probably still find him on just the other sites, as I mentioned. But overall quality, high nines. If you collect Hulk statues, for sure pick this up. It is a very, very nice piece, and as for space, you'll be able to put it in your collection quite easily, but it's not gigantic. So that wraps up the review today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, smash the like button, subscribe if you like. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care. Peace. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.